All right, you guys. So we found Beaver's most favorite thing in the world. Beaver loves the war bridle. In fact, he probably loves it too much. We're going to have to probably sell it with him when he goes. Here, your turn. My turn? Yep. We can go back. And she is on a goose. He is... He is fun, 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 fun. Beaver's my favorite right now that we brought. He's my buddy. We became buddies. Yes, the bay is for sale. He, he is consigned to Billings for the May sale. So if you're not close to Montana... Get you an online bidding number, and um, if you purchase him, we can bring him back, and he can stay at our facility until you get transportation, or we can drop him off. So, oh, they're seeing it. They're seeing it. Mine falls down the hill. Good job, buddy. You guys, these two are so unproblematic. Whoa, Goose. Go, Gustafsson. Look. Let's be honest. Like, Goose is, like, ready for it. Goose will go over the big end. I'm telling you that this thing right here is the freaking beer wagon. He is the trail Cadillac. I don't know. This thing right here is, like... Yeah. He's you beautiful. You can work on him. You can enjoy him. He's fun. He is fun. One of my favorite horses of all time. I've owned Beaver for a long time. We have a reserve on Beaver. Um, and I'm sure Jacob might do a buy now price. But the reserve on Beaver is going to be $7,500. we will bring Pepper tomorrow. Cindy said, Tylan, you're such a stud muffin. Thank you, Cindy. You know, women do it to you. And... And everybody like laughs and giggles, but like when little old men get on here and do it to me and the girls that worked for me, people would be like, "Get off here!" <laughs> like these are such a double standard, and it's so funny because I do it too. I ag it on you guys. I tell him all the time. The women are the women are swooning. It's that pretty white smile, is what it is. We can. We are going backwards again. Okay. No, I'm coming. No, mine is unproblematic. Let's go. I'm following you, sir. This sucker here will go over the river and through the woods. And I'm telling you, this thing here is the... We get to cross whatever the hell we want because mine is super trail savvy. He's super sure-footed. And he's fearless. And I'm on my old trusty steam. How do you like your war bridle? I'm, I'm going to like it. Uh... Really, it don't feel heavy in my hand. At all. So, like, sometimes you can feel the bit heavy in your hand before you make contact. And this is, like, really, really super easy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. You're digging it. Uh, the good thing about it, though, there's no contact until you put contact. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sitting in there, so he's pretty much all in his mouth. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, too. I like it. Yeah, my freaking horse here is like, I'm telling you, if all men would be like Goose, the world would have no problems. He just does what the hell you tell him to. He don't give a shit. Huh, Goose man? We go through the water, we're going through the water. You want to jump? Through, we're going to jump. Jump through fire, he'll do it. He will. He has no fear. He'll go right where you point him. He is literally the best, funnest thing that we brought on the trailer. It's called a it's called a war bridle and it's just a piece of rope. It's not even a bridle, it's just a piece of rope and Do you know the history behind it? Um yeah, Indians. Yep. Native Americans. What do you have in your hand, sir? I smelt it before I saw it. I don't know how because I put my finger over it. Doesn't matter. I was actually about to trot up there and Yeah. I 
don't have any candy. Yeah, you should have brought more candy. The saddle is fantastic, you guys. Make sure that you guys like this saddle brand. It is called Diamond Ranch Saddlery. So Diamond Ranch Saddlery here on Facebook. And Matt Kaiser makes them. And Tylan was just wanting to put some trail miles in it to kind of see how it was to just really get out and go ride. How it felt. How it felt. How it felt. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I was telling Tara a while ago that me and Beaver are the new Gene Autry and Trigger show. Yeah. It's that I'm a little darker, and instead of Trigger, I got... Beaver. You have beaver. Instead of trigger, I got... Beaver. Mighty beaver. Instead of trigger, I got... A beaver. Tigger. No. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. Beaver. It's beaver. Um, you can order the war bridles from um, Massey Western Creations. Um, we did a giveaway the other day, and we gave away two of them. So... I'm a fan... Of them, most definitely. I Make like sure them. I tell you what, you guys. Let's send stars to this video. Send stars, like, comment, and share, and we'll give away two more of them. So if you want the chance to win one of these, like this video, comment on this video, share it, send stars, and we will give away one to somebody that sends stars. And if you can't send stars, don't worry. We will give um, we'll give away for people that share this video. So share it in groups. Share it anywhere that you can. And we will give away two of these war bridles. I'll call Shelby and pay for them as soon as we're done here. And, uh, yeah, we'll give away two of them. I'll let Tylan pick the winners. You want to pick the winners? Yep. I'm telling you all, I'm for it. I'm for it. My I poor horse. It. My I'm horse has been, we had him up in a stall and he started to get a little bit of like a real dusty cough. And he's out here in the fresh air and got his head down. And he's, oh, I know, sir. Rory and Trigger, Gene and Champion, and Tylan and Beaver. Tylan and Beaver. I'm all by Look at my freaking little horse. He's just a freaking stud, y'all. He will go. You point him, he goes. Ooh, there's a big crossing right there. All right, y'all. I'm telling y'all, my horse is about it. So is that one. That one is actually probably the best one that we own. I've loved him for a long time. Him and his little old booty. You <laughs> know, it's not that little. He's kind of got a big old butt. So, send stars for... And one person who sends stars will win... And then one person that um, shared will win. So make sure that you like and comment. Because you have to like and comment no matter what. But then we'll go down the list of shares. And then we'll go down the list of star senders here. It's okay. Here, just hold the phone. I got mine. You show them. Well, kind of. oh, maybe he does. Come on, Kurt. I really think they think the mud's really, really deep. I think it's deep too. Yeah. I think it is. Oh, Tara, come here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. You think about it. Oh, sir. We found the only vice of the war bridle. Yeah. Here Beaver was bridleless. Beaver lost his bridle. Oh, bud. Goose, you're always so fearless. What was wrong? 
He said, well, I thought about it and it looked really deep. We're gonna go around and go this way. If we weren't live where we both could get our hands on the reins, we would just talk them into it. See, sir? Poor pony. When he gets home, he's gonna have to probably get on some guafenison. I think the shavings in the stall have really kind of created a little cough. <laughs> Thailand. Goose. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, goose. Gotta wait on Thailand. I didn't know we left him. You were bridalless. You were completely bridalless. No, it's further down. My pony, my reins, I ha when I lay them on his neck and they get kind of stretched out, he's so short necked that. All right, guys, we lost signal for a second. Come on, bud. Come on. You're okay. Yeah, let's come up on this side. The other side's a little smoother. Yeah, let's cross up there where we crossed the other two and we can come back around. It's no problem. All right here. No, that's a little steep. Yes, we are losing signal all on and off, but it reconnects. I'm going to try not to end any video this time, so y'all just bear with me. Thank y'all for the stars. We're doing some creek walking. Doing a little bit of creek walking. I love water. Love it. I was uh, I was born by the river. Oh my god, in a little tent. Goose is absolutely beautiful. This water is so clear. Y'all can't really see, I don't think, but it's like crystal clear. So somebody said the video couldn't be shared until it's not live. No, you have to go to um, the Tara Michelle Sanders page. And share it. So you have to go to the Tara Michelle Tand uh, Sanders page and then share it from there. That was a little deep. Yeah, oh man, I just took my good luck away. Good luck. Yeah, a ladybug landed on me. It was. I looked at it. Yes, we uh, do leave the other ones at the trailer. They have water and hay, and 
they're standing in the shade. We parked underneath some trees, so they're not. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. And we won't get lost this time, so we'll be back fairly quick. Yeah. I like my pony. I like my beaver. Huh? What are you talking about? You said I like my beaver and I wanted to be like, oh, now you have a beaver? What are you talking about? What's a beaver? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Am I supposed to get it? No. You don't have any mind at all. Well... We're not afraid of anybody taking them because the gate's locked. Maybe you take them, they'll bring them back. <laughs> the gate's locked, and it's it's a bunch of older women that hang out and ride. And super nice. Super, super nice. Very unproblematic place. Uh, most people don't want to pay to go trail ride, so if they're paying the membership and everything, they're, it's yeah, unproblematic. very unproblematic. Very nice. We've seen two different groups. Y'all got to see, or three, three different groups. Y'all got to see one of them earlier. Well, y'all didn't get to see them, but y'all heard us talking to them. And everybody that's been riding here has rode here for years. They absolutely love it, and they want to keep it fun and safe and nobody stealing anything. Yeah, the new tack is great. I'm really, really digging it. Yeah, we're going right back. No, this is not Moose and Loop. This is Beaver and Goose. Goose. Tara's on Goose and I'm on Beaver. Is Goose consigned too? So they're both consigned to Billings for the May sale. If anybody's interested in either one of these, make sure you get a online bidding number. Or make a trip to Billing, and y'all can meet Jacob, and Jacob will be there with the horses and show them and all that good stuff. So if y'all are interested in either one of these, think about going there or bidding. Very, very nice. These two are very unproblematic. My little beaver buddy's just riding in a war bridle. I don't know if anybody's on here that's ever rode in a war bridle or not, but they're very very soft and gentle tears just moving on along you're okay bud you're okay he's scared of the drop off No, Kathy, I don't know how to ride with boots on. My feet sweat too bad. I don't think Tara's got boots on today, neither. I brought them. I didn't put them on. Boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. <laughs> So the war bridle, there's a little knot that you take up and really the horse holds it in their mouth more than anything, but it's so, it's, it's, soft. it's really, really soft. So you don't have direct pressure all the time, anywhere. anywhere, like with a bit, you have the weight of the bit on their tongue, uh, the weight of the head stall if they keep their head kind of elevated you got extra weight in your hand and with the war bridle you don't have any of that extra weight or that extra pressure in their mouth so it's more of a, a pressure and release type training tool but you also have to have a horse that's very well understanding 
on the pressure and release before you yeah. test it out. I wouldn't just say put this on a horse that you're just trying to start. I would. I would start working on that. I think if you started them in that from the get-go, they would be better. I like it. I like it, too. Somebody said they used to train all their horses in a war bridle. Yeah. I'm really digging it though. Somebody asked what rule was you breaking? I don't know. When? I don't know. They said, what was the rule Tara is breaking? I'm not breaking. I don't know. I mean, Me neither. Oh, I think I said earlier it's about only break one law at a time or something, but I was just kidding. I guess, oh, here, you're not supposed to come on Thursday, so now that you're really yeah. but they were out of town, so they let us come with the wristbands. Oh, yeah, with the wristbands. We got wristbands on. Kind of like a theme park. So, somebody asked what saddle I was riding in. I'm riding in the Wade saddle from the Diamond Ranch. Y'all go and like his page. Follow him. Uh, really, really comfortable. I like it. I'm starting to like it more and more. Never rode in a Wade saddle before. But uh, he makes anything you want, pretty much, right? Yeah. But they, this saddle fits a horse great. It's really balanced. It does not slip and slide. Does not cause uh, hot spots. No. Any of that, I really. What did you say? It's the most balanced saddle I think we have. Yeah, I agree. It's the most balanced saddle I ever used. It's very, very, very balanced. The base saddles start around seventeen fifty, and the completely custom ones start at twenty nine hundred. Say that again. I don't think the base it. saddles, like a just a base rough out saddle, starts at seventeen fifty, and then a um, completely custom saddle starts around twenty nine hundred. That's like fully tooled, you know, completely customized the tree type thing. So for a really good, well balanced saddle, you're paying half the price of a double J. Yeah, you can buy one for seventeen fifty. I mean, and don't forget we have a saddle giveaway coming. We're giving one away. Yeah, so we got a saddle giveaway coming. How many spots do we have left? Um, I think 85 spots left. We got 85 spots left on the saddle. Yep. And um, so if y'all are interested in one of the... $50 to the unsold horses. Say, say that again. You can donate $50 to the unsold horses. So you enter the giveaway by donating $50 to the unsold horses. Yep, and it takes care of all the ones that we bring and do stuff like this. Not these two, but yeah. like the kill pen horses. Like, well, like Moose and Luke, I mean, but Donnie and two crows, two crows is on the unsold horse bill. Why is it? Okay. Okay. You get offended immediately. Yeah. Um, he isn't. I mean, he's not. So not. my legs are a little bit more underneath me and I'm more on my butt. Uh, it's really comfortable. I don't think anything can buck him off out of it. Yeah. Like I keep my seat perfect in this saddle. Can I take the off of it? Yeah. something you needed the light match in the other saddle uh yeah <laughs> we just need to get one or two more so that you're saying that you're yeah my legs are not as forward as most western saddles most definitely most of the time my at my hip i think that's why my hip hurt is because my legs sit at a 90 when i'm sitting more like this and these are more straight yeah, my hips have not hurt all day. Somebody tried to say that my hips was hurting because I was riding into too small of a saddle. Before? Yep. Well, the other one's the same size as that one. Yep. I will have to call you back. Who is it? Rowan. I'll call her back. What? Why are you huffing and puffing? Me? Yeah. Oh, was that the horse? It's not me. Let me talk to her. Let me show her what's 
Show what you're doing. Come on. Easy, bud. Well, we're about to cross this. Don't you think your child would love to watch you cross that? I don't know. Call it Shit. Out. Kobe. Here, you take one of them. Oh, there's the live. What are you doing, beautiful girl? Yeah, watch your daddy is fixing to ride down this hill. I'm going to show you. All right. I'm not for sure. I don't know if I want to cross this. It's awfully steep. I really want to do it. Here, just switch me and I'll talk to her. She wanted to watch you ride. What you doing, baby? Hi. Hi, baby. Well. Don't tell your mama, baby. They're training the pony. I love that. Well, I'm not there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. God bless. This must be that last group of people. And my assumption was 100% correct. We're going to pass some people on the trail that... Right now you're about to go on Phones, one for the plug and one for the load. I got two. Hey, I'm I'm trail riding. Can you hear me? Yeah, I am, and we're trail riding. Yeah. That's okay. It it happens sometimes. They'll fix it. All right, all right. No, I'm I'm not worried about it. Okay. Nope, it's probably just, it's that group, I'm sure. It just, it's reset to the oldest post. It just needs to be reset to newest. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. You got a hole in your pants? Sometimes you feel like a nut. Boom, boom, sometimes. How are y'all? Really? No. My rain's good. All right, baby. All right. Goose. Hey, I'm trying to. I'm. I'm riding. Let me call you back, okay. okay? All right. Love you. Here, I'm just gonna take both hands and. Easy him down this little. He's like claustrophobic. He's like, I'm not going in there. Good. He's not, I mean, he'll fall. I want to turn him around and make him go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just about got. Oh, look at my saddle. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. You want to go back through? Yep. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Before I go bridleless. Yeah, don't go bridleless. All right, guys. So, I'm noticing. Yep. Yeah. So, this right here is what holds this on. And it keeps wanting to loosen up. But, as you can see, it's not, like, tight. You can move it. So this keeps coming unloose, yeah, and I just noticed it as I was about to turn them around. But that's part of the thing that helps it stay in there. So it's really for horses that want to push it out with their tongue more than anything. 
Who, him? Mountain goat. He is a mountain goat. But I want to pull this branch off. Hey, before you do that, will you tear this vine down? So yeah, that... hold this. Okay. Make the trail a better trail for us. Yep, hold this. Okay. What's your baby doing? Uh, mad. Why? Because they stole her new pony and won't get it here. Who did? Just pull it from up there. Pull. The oldest a... kid stole it. Goose. Goose said, and I quote, Stop. Is your horse back? You need me to pull beef. Oh, y'all know I get on like an old man. Come on, old man, get on. All right, sorry guys, it lost signal. As you can see, the little mountain goat. Are you coming back this way? What? Are you going back that way or are you coming back this way? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him. Y'all are welcome for the information on the bridle. Um, this is the first time I ever used one. All right, now where do we go from here? The trail this way. Ended. Which way? This way. Okay, I'm following you. Uh, he's a mountain goat, too. Yeah. Show him my mountain goat. Like yeah, he jumps it. Watch him. The little mountain goat. Yeah, no, the gate. Where? Right here. Are we supposed to open this gate? Yeah, they just came from this way. Oh. <laughs> they just seem wild to me. <laughs> they said, the other group said that there's a bunch of gates you gotta open. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, hold up. I'm laying you down. All right, guys, sorry. I'm not sorry. This is part of it. Hold Tell him to buy a belt, you guys. I need one. All right, let's go. Okay. Four hole. My pony is such a little fearless shit. It's great. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. nope, it's this way. I see it now. But I was willing to... Ooh, I don't know. This I hate this. I want to bring like a whacker and whack this oh, shit. Look, right there's a trail. Let's go that way. I'm fucking already through this shit. Fuck. Shit. 
Damn, nope, this is a fucking fence where the cows cross. Fuck me, not. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry that we lost a uh, signal. Thank y'all for the stars. We appreciate it. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry for the delay. We're losing signal. So... That's what I would do. It's this trail that we're on now. We probably shouldn't have took it without somebody going with us. Because we got lost last time. But it is great. Absolutely beautiful. So I know we're on a trail because I see the orange. Oh, I think they come down right here. There's a path right there. I hear cows. Huh? So we're at the Terrence Ranch in Bullard? Is that what? Ballard? Bullard? Bullard, Texas. And it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we're supposed to open that gate. Look at all the trails. We might need to turn around because we're going to get lost out here. Look at the cows. Beaver's ready to work. He's like, we're going through it and I'm going to get the cows. It's so beautiful. Oh, this looks like a good place to cross right here. Yeah, they just crossed that. Good work. Oh, look. It's real. Yeah, it's orange right there, Tara. So we're on the trail. There's orange right there. Well, where we go now? Um, I don't know. You want to go back this way and see if we can come back the way they came? Do you think they came this way or that way? Not for sure. Well, I think the truck is through there. Yeah, the truck's through there. Well, let's go back. Watch this pretty little demon go through there. That's like the Hellcat of ponies. The Dodge Hellcat. I know y'all are probably familiar with them. They're like the best car in the world. She says it's like the beer wagon. Yeah, fit, going fishing right now seems really great, but the sign at the front of the property said absolutely no fishing. So, just going to have to hold off on the fishing. There's a gator in that pond. I'm absolutely loving this. Something new. Something new. Tear 
Spirit's going to get us lost. We're going to be lost. We're going to be lost for days. And her phone's almost dead. And we'll be lost. 110% lost. Yep, it's just me and Tara in our group. Just me and Tara. Why don't you get off and fix it? We're going. <laughs> We're going to have to turn around. Oh no, right there's that orange thing. Okay, the truck's this way. See, I told y'all I was good with directions. Why wasn't done riding? Well, I his head and we're headed back to the truck. She thinks. Well, she thinks. You could probably swim the horses in that pond, but I didn't bring extra clothes or I would be all up in it and be all for it. The trails are marked, but there's so many different ones and they kind of connect. They're marked with orange dots on the trees. Yeah, they need to be repainted. But the trails are kind of grew up because they don't have that many riders out here anymore. So if you are looking for a beautiful place with a lot, with a lot of area to cover, then it does have trails that just needs more riders to go. Um, the Torrent Ranch is a great place. So most definitely put it on y'all's list of beautiful places to um, ride. And it is private. It's a private property. Property. Uh, the Torrance's run it. And uh, Terrence, I'm sorry, Terrence. T. T A R R E N T S. Terrence corrected me for everybody that's guessing. Look, there's a cow over there. You see it running? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Starting to cool off, too. All right. Mm -mm. Yeah. Maxine, why is it no longer an option for you? Somebody said she misses these days. No longer an option for her. And these days, like riding, trail riding, then I asked her why it was no longer an option for her. You're headed the wrong way. Me? Yeah. Look, I didn't lost my land marker. It was over this way somewhere. Oh, your land marker was back that way. The Yeah, we need to turn around. Oh! I don't 
now. I don't know where we're at. Oh, y'all were super duper lost. I know I shouldn't have followed Tara. And I'm going to apologize now if the phone dies. Don't let it die while we're stranded up here. I got mine. Follow this trail. That's all we can do. Hey, it's an opening in the gate right here. Right. My pony is not going to fail us. My pony is the true MVP of Native American art of knowing where we're... Yours might have the word right along, but mine's the one that knows what's up. Okay. Well, I'm starting to trust him a little bit more. I found orange dots. Maybe the little pony pony wasn't wrong after all. Still don't know where we're at. Yeah, orange marker. See, the trails are marked. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. My pony did not fail. We used to go in the mountains in Redosa, and I worked for Cowboy Scripture one summer. I was probably in the third grade, and he ever told me, if you don't know where you are and you get worried, drop your reins and the horse will take you back. He used to always tell us that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, and still to this day, I still believe that. Yeah. Drop your reins and your horse will take you back. Wishless compass. <laughs> compass, yes. Yeah, we have six total that we brought to ride, but we're probably not going to be able to make it through all six. We might. I don't know how close we are to me. Me neither. We should have just went on the same trail. Why didn't we, Kylie? I don't know. Who opened the gate? Well... Sometimes going forward is better than turning around. I do not live in the past. I live in the present and the future. So do not ever turn around. Just keep trucking forward. Do you like my pony? I absolutely love that pony. Really? Because you hate ponies. I do hate ponies, but he's okay. So this one is Beaver, and that one is Ghost. Ghosty Moose. He's pretty cool. Beaver is my favorite right now that we brought with us. Two Crows did not get. We brought 186, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, somebody asked to please ride him, so we have to ride him. Tell him. Hey, you 50 bucks. Easy, bud. We'll ride him. We'll make it happen. But, yeah, this is Beaver and that's Ghost. They're consigned to the Billings May sale. So, um, y'all make sure y'all... Ooh, I hear water. Y'all get a online bidding number. Or, if y'all are close, y'all go and hang out with Jacob and bid on the horses. I knew I heard water. Look, it's so pretty. It's really loud down there, though. Really, really, really loud. We're by somebody's house again.
Oh, uh, Baber is awesome, awesome, awesome. Drop off. Just gorgeous. Look at the views. Baver's just trucking along, trucking along. Oh, Ghost is just trucking along. Terran Ghost thinks we should go this way, so let's hope we don't get lost even more. Watch out, bud. Be easy. Easy. Thank you. Jump. No. Thank you. Yep, yep. Hey, quit following the cattle trails and let's find the real trail. Where? <laughs> Look, there's a road right there. So, let's follow it up. When you're on 3,500 acres, it's easy to get lost. As long as you find the road or follow the water down, you'll always find yourself back. Right now, we're heading north. Tara don't know stuff like that. Ain't that right, Tara? What way are we heading? See? Told you she didn't know. I don't know, there's horses up here. Yes, you can either get a day pass for $12 a person or $500 for a year. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm missing some of the comments. Yes, Beaver did get over his back cinch uh, issues. If you can't tell, he's got a back cinch on the day. I like to fix problems. So we uh, fix all problems here with me. Hey, there's another gate up there that we probably got to open. To your left. Well, you go through here and then go down to your left to the bottom of the hill. But yes, Beaver got his back cinch problems fixed. That's the best thing. We got some wild horses here in Texas. Don't rope them. They'll be after you. The state will. Hey, you're getting questions. Something about all... Your pony wants to go what way? Yeah. 
I'm not for sure what it, House OLT45. I don't know what that is. Look, there's a gate up here. Coat 45. Me neither. I guess. She said she didn't know how Coat 45 was. You know what? I'm going to find her way. Huh? He's turned out. No. Beaver. I did not kick you up. I told you to turn. Thank you, sir. All right. Maps. Where am I at? Oh, we're going the right direction, but we're like a, another hour ride from the truck. Yeah, we're down by this, uh, the airport. Actually, I think we're going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we... But like you said, I think we have to loop around. So, we're kind of headed back towards the truck. Oh, this gate's open. Easy, baby. We're headed back towards the truck. All right, we're heading back to the 